Golfers of Earth, it is time for another episode of What the Buzz is All About. This is a short supplemental version, but I've got some stuff to report. I'm on my way home from another lovely day at work. Working for Second Swing is always a lovely day at work. And I've got some stuff to talk about. So, since we last got together... Um, I sent some videos to two of my friends who teach, one of whom was my swing coach while I was on tour, and the other was a friend of mine who I played with on tour. So what I got back from them, from them were two very different takes on the state of my golf swing. So, same videos, my boy Justin, who was my swing coach when I was on tour, um, he's a very technical instructor, and you've, you've probably discussed this, I am a very feel guy. So, um, Justin and my world sometimes clash. He has to dumb things down so that my processor can process. Because uh, everything has to be feel for me. So Justin's take was that I'm out of sync. I believe that. Um, and he wants me to try to speed up the rotation of my shoulders to match that of my hips. Okay. Um, I get the concept, but I have no idea how to actually do that. Um, I went in and tried speeding things up and I ended up getting a whole lot of toe shots. I didn't like it. If I was out of sync beforehand, I was way out of sync after. So my friend Zorin looked at my videos and goes, Mate, your hands are opening on the way back. Your club face is too open and your left arm is getting above your right in the takeaway. Okay. I can see that actually. And what's more, I can also do something about that. So, uh, last two practice sessions been in very early in the morning. Um, I've been working on a new takeaway and a new spot check, similar to what Ricky Fowler does before he hits shots, but making sure that the toe of the club is not facing straight up, but it's actually in a more neutral, which to me is a slightly closed position. And the results have been shocking. Um, not necessarily what I expected. Got the drawback. Now that kind of might be expected because coming at something from a less open position, I can definitely see the chances of getting the draw to happen much better. What I didn't really expect was that my path was going to change and my face angle was actually going to be more open while playing this draw. So the thing that's kind of left me scratching my head, and I, forgive me if I've gone over this, my wife tells me I'll tell her things over and over and over again. So I'm probably likely to tell you guys things over and over and over again. I apologize. Um, but my club path has typically been two, two and a half degrees inside to out with a face angle that was typically around two degrees open. And frankly, it really shouldn't be that hard to hit a draw with those numbers. But yet, I wasn't. So now, working on this move, I'm feeling like the swing is longer in the takeaway and the club face is getting shut. Which it probably isn't. It's probably just staying neutral. Uh, which is definitely better than being open. And my path has gotten more from the inside. I'm seeing a three to five degree path. And I'm also seeing a 
more open club face at impact. Yeah. Two to three and a half degrees, but yet the ball is now turning. So that to me is very, very exciting. Um, it's completely contrary to what I was going to try to do, which was play a fade. But if I can get my draw back, I got 38 years of right to left under my belt. What's going to be easier? Now, I'm not just taking the easy way out. Don't get me wrong here. I'm going to put the wor in the work. I still want the fade. I just want both. Because golf is a game of greed. You make a birdie, you want to make another birdie. You shoot 70, you want to shoot 69. So, hey, you break 100, you want to, you want to shoot, you want to shoot 100, you want to shoot 99. Um, so, I want it all. I want every bit of it. So, if I can get my draw back and create some consistency there, but then also keep working on this fade and have that one, then I'm much more multidimensional than I have been. So, um, you know, with what Zorin's told me, my little processor can process that much easier. So that's where I'm headed. And I'm headed out to play tomorrow at a golf course that I've not played, but I hear it's a shot makers placement style course. And that could play right into my hands for forcing me to try and get this stuff figured out. So we're going to see what happens. Apologize. It's getting dark. It's raining. Definitely cloudy. Windshield wipers are going. Hope it's not throwing the uh, recording off too much. But uh, I will get back to you guys. So for now, I'm going to go back to my uh, Sirius XM liquid metal listening experience for the drive home. And uh, y'all be good. Be safe. Talk to you tomorrow.